the Federal Air Traffic Control Agency has acquired some objective control material from Rostov Regional Center of Unified Air Traffic Control System. The video clip presents the air control information on aerial situation in the region in the period from 5 hours 19 minutes p.m. to 5 hours 25 minutes p.m. Moscow time on 17 of July 2014. Boeing 777 is heading towards the Russian Federation state boundary and is to cross it in the point of Tonak. At 5 hours 20 minutes p.m. at the distance of 51 kilometers from Russian Federation state boundary, at the azimuth of 300 degrees, the aircraft started to lose its speed abruptly. At 5 hours 21 minutes 35 seconds p.m., with the aircraft speed of 200 km per hour at the point of Boeing crash, there is new mark of an aircraft to be seen. The air control officer inquiring the characteristics of the newly appeared aircraft couldn't possibly get them, because it's quite possible that the aircraft had no secondary detection, detection system mounted on it, which is pretty typical for military aircraft. The early detection of this aircraft appeared to be quite impossible because the aerial sentient control is usually performed by readers working in a standby mode, which detection possibilities at the given distance are over 5,000 meters altitude. The detection of the aircraft turned out to be possible as the aircraft ascended. As the aircraft ascended as the aircraft ascended. The further aircraft flight properties changes on its route testify to the fact that it is now flying in the, re in the, sorry, in the area of Boeing crash Earlier, the Ukrainian officials reported that on the day of the Boeing 777 crash, there were no military aircraft available in this region. So, as you can see, this doesn't appear to be true.
pretty typical for military aircraft. OEC spokesman just um, said that uh, they have evidence that major pieces of plane have been cut into, cut into, and large part of the plane have been cut into. cut into, cut into, and large part of the plane have been cut into.